One of the YAG laser treatment options is the cruciate pattern technique. The YAG laser is used to create a cross pattern which allows the capsule flaps to retract out of the visual axis. Care must be taken to aim the laser beam carefully to avoid pitting the optic. IOL pits in the optical axis can lead to disturbing light effects. This lens has certainly lost all of its premium properties. As a result the patient may well have to suffer with this for the rest of his or her life. Another fundamental source of error is performing the treatment without a contact lens. The YAG beam is delivered at a convergence angle of 16 degrees from the laser aperture, which should be further focused through an Abraham contact lens. If not we do not concentrate the energy at an optimal focal point but rather in a broad focus. These two pictures show quite impressively how this entire IOL is practically pierced right through. An alternative approach is the circular or can opener technique where a round opening in the posterior capsule is created. If pits are created they usually are not a disturbance because they are away from the optical center and visual axis. The freed capsule lobe is left to float in the vitreous body. It is not uncommon for this to remain in the area of the optical axis fully oscillating with all eye movements. Fortunately not all patients will perceive this capsular remnant. However some will be severely impaired by it as you can see in the following example. Before firing the laser let us first take a look at some basic physics. The YAG laser produces a coherent, monochromatic laser beam with a wavelength of 1064 nanometers. The laser exits through the objective lens together with the two red aiming beams at a convergence angle of 16 degrees. A YAG contact lens increases this convergence angle to 24 degrees. On the one hand they serve to stabilize the eye and on the other they have the function of a burning glass to further increase the energy density in the laser focus to achieve plasma formation. The mode of action of a YAG laser is to bring a small amount of energy into a tiny focus for an extremely short duration of time. The resulting power generated is high enough to strip electrons from their atoms causing ionization and an optical breakdown, which can be seen as a plasma formation with a core temperature of 4000 degrees centigrade. Let me demonstrate this in action using dry ice. The fog produced makes the process quite visible as you can clearly see here. Now with an awareness of the high degree of temperature anticipated at the laser focus it would make sense to maintain a sufficiently safe distance between the IOL and the plasma formation. Many lasers include a manually controlled offset allowing you to move the treatment beam posteriorly towards vitreous by 0.1 to 0.5 mm. I personally do not use this option but focus the laser manually 1.5 to 2 mm behind the capsule by moving the slit lamp towards the patient. Using this technique IOL damage is virtually impossible. In this 3D animation you can observe the formation of gas bubbles. The initial gas bubbles are highly reflective at the time of plasma formation so that a large part of the pressure wave is bounced back retrograde towards the lens capsule. This phenomenon is called plasma shield which leads to photo disruption of the capsule. And we can observe this phenomenon in another 3D animation. A capsule opening centered on the optical axis is achieved. Ideally, it already has the shape of a pentagon or hexagon. Now I will show you the effect from the surgeon's point of view. Here you can see the aiming beams in focus directly on the capsule. They are overlapping forming one circle. Now pushing the focus about 1.5 mm further posterior behind the lens into the vitreous. Two red aiming beams are now clearly visible on the posterior capsule. 
an energy level of 2 mJ should be enough to create an initial opening and after a few shots we see this intermediate result. The following images were not created in Photoshop but with the cooperation of this patient who without complaining moved back and forth several times between the YAG laser and the slit lamp camera enabling us to capture a photographic record of this real life situation. I will now show you another photo animation of the procedure followed by real life surgery. Years after performing a YAG laser treatment you will often see these kind of soemering formations at the edges of the capsular opening. You can easily avoid this by investing some extra time. You should carefully clean the surface of the capsule of lens epithelium by applying a number of low energy laser pulses as you, you can see in this animation. This will result in clean and perfectly curled capsule edges. Assuming a perfectly sized rexus without the risk of a vitreous prolapse into the anterior chamber I try to achieve a posterior capsule opening between 5 and 6 millimeters.